Yeah. Right, that worked just plain awesomely. And it's based on this thing, which is our brushless DC generator. This works on low RPM. And we made this in video 1964. Now, I didn't do the uh, Thingiverse files for this, but I've done them now. And they're in the description at the bottom here. So if you want to know how to make this section, then jump across to that video. Have a look at the files they're there to download piece of cake to make. And it's incredibly good, actually. It works really, really well. And you notice this big cog. Well, that's because I like to make things modular. Remember, in 2009, we made this thing, which is our planetary gearbox. So they'll mesh quite nicely. And we could make a hand crank generator out of that because that has a crazy output. But I wanted to do a portable wind turbine and the portable wind turbines have their own challenges, particularly one of them sticking them up in the air. So I went for a camera tripod because of course they're readily available. They can be expensive, they can be quite cheap, but they're easy to get hold of, they're lightweight, they fold up really nicely and so you can cart them around with you. And what I wanted to do was create a portable turbine based on this generator that could be carried but give a good result. So. I drew this up in Tinkercad and of course I'm making these files available in Thingiverse and that link again is in the description at the bottom if you want those files. And the first thing to do of course is to print them out. So once we've printed them off we need to attach this to here and it goes that way around with the long projection bit facing up towards the screw thread. It goes on there and we put a bolt in there. This is an M4 bolt and it's 50 millimeters long. It will be a bit long, but when we've actually screwed everything down, we can saw that off and tidy it up. But you put that nut on there and then this will fold up there. It'll be a bit tight at first, but it folds like that and it collapses like that. And now we need to do the other two. To fit the blades, open them out. Lay it on the table with that facing upwards and you notice the blade's got a crease in it. Put the blade in there. There we go, and press that so that it's level with the surface that you're pressing on, and that's where it's going to glue. And again, we do that with all three. So we put the blade in there, and make sure that it's level with that there. That point there is hitting the surface. And the same with this one. And then we can glue them in. So I just glue this with super glue. It glues this stuff marvellously well. The nose cone has a wrong hand thread. So if you're trying to turn it clockwise, it won't turn. You need to turn it anti-clockwise and that will tighten down on the blades and hold the blades out. And of course, if we unscrew that, we can fold our blades up. There we go, making it collapsible. The carrier section is these two sections, it's just two parts and here and here you'll see an indentation that take a thrust washer. The thrust washer is 47 by 25 and it's 11 millimeters thick. You just press one plate into that, the other plate into that and then here we have a steel pin. It's 8 millimeter pin, that goes in there level with that. Then we can drop bearings onto here and drop the steel pin into there and that makes our connection. Now that steel pin will move, so a little bit of glue will hold it in place just fine, and that will go in the camera tripod, and the body of the motor, the generator section, will clip into there. So the tail fin section are these five sections here. If we glue them all together, that's what we get. So it's just this has been glued onto here. The bar actually is in the tail fin. There it is there. And that section has a twist knob on it so that we can pull that bar out, and when we want to use it, it's like that. When we want to travel, we can collapse it down in the tail fin section lives in there. So it's made that part. There's the motor with its swivel joint on it. And there are the actual blades themselves collapsed. Now I put this, oops, there we go. I put this in here because of course I want to fit it onto there. You can glue that on if you don't want to do that because it will then fit on there but collapse down for carrying and obviously we open it out when we want to use it. <laughs> it's a piece of cake, so let's take it on the hillside and give it a test. I want to give it a test, I'm going to use this. It's an LED lighting panel. Now the turn on voltage for this is 25 volts, so it won't start to light until we hit 25 volts. The higher the voltage, the brighter it gets. It also draws about 100 milliamps the minute it turns on, and of course the brighter it gets, the more milliamps. So the minimum for this is 25 volts at 100 milliamps. So if this turns on, 
we are generating at least two and a half watts, which is pretty impressive for this because this blade length is at 24 centimeters. So that's pretty cool. So we're on a bit of a challenge to turn that on, but let's take it onto the hillside and we'll see if we can do that. Okay, so that's it opened up, opened up the blade, screwed down here, put it on our generator section and the tail fin opens out. It actually slides into itself, so we open that out. Now, I've got the stud here that goes onto the swivel bearing there and we've set up our camera tripod because we're going to run it on the camera. Okay, I'm going to let it go. What will happen is the wind will catch the tail and turn it in the direction of the wind and obviously this will start spinning, we hope. There we go, it's found the wind. Just want to make sure it doesn't go too far around. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, look at that. That's incredible, actually. Look at that. Wow. Jeez Louise! <laughs> That's amazing! Wow! Holy Hannah! Man, this is no breeze! Wow! <laughs> I mean, curses, that was impressive, hey? I had an anemometer and I measured the wind speed. It was between sort of three and four meters per second. And you couldn't really tell on the camera, but this thing was a blur of speed. If you heard the noise it was making, it was really quite cool. Of course, it's not quite finished. And what we need to do is we've rectified the current, but we do need to put it through this. It's a voltage regulator. So you put the output into here and then we'll get 5.2 volts out of it as a nice steady current. And now we can do things like charge your phone, charge our battery banks, play our electronics, or I could keep my camera charged up when I'm out and about. So tremendously useful. And I spent nowhere near what you would have to spend to buy a piece of kit like that. Of course, it was rough and ready to gauge it as we're on the hillside. We do need a bit more accurate measurement and, uh, you know, I'll get around to doing that at some time or other. But it's freely available. Feel free to make a copy if you like. This is one of those ones then actually I don't think you'll be disappointed if you bother to make. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.